We are getting you ready for the upcoming election and when the primary election results start to roll in later this month, we will certainly be watching the race for Clayton County Sheriff. It's a big one to watch. It pits the incumbent sheriff against the chairman of the Clayton County Board of Commissioners. Level Lodge Doug Richards is taking a look tonight. I was almost 35 days. That's Clayton County Sheriff LaVon Allen telling an audience that before he became Clayton County's sheriff, he'd been suspended for 35 days as a deputy. I think I was disciplined the most in probably the history of the sheriff's office. I was suspended almost 35 days. Allen says he learned from his mistakes. As sheriff, he now runs the Clayton County Jail. The sheriff also secures the county courthouse and his deputies serve warrants. When Allen's predecessor, Victor Hill, was in office, the sheriff was also a flashpoint. Hill went to federal prison for violating the civil rights of Clayton County Jail inmates. To replace him, Hill endorsed Allen in a special election last year. Allen won and told the audience he could make a difference. I need more time. Allen also told that audience in March he needs more jail space to relieve overcrowding. He placed blame for the overcrowding on the Clayton County Board of Commissioners. Jeff Turner, elected three times as chairman of the Board of Commissioners, is now running to replace Allen as sheriff. Something has to be done with the Clayton County Jail. And for me, that's unacceptable for us to continue down this road. So that helped me make my decision. Two other candidates are also running against Allen and Turner. Charlene watson Frazier and Clarence Cox also have law enforcement experience. Sheriff Allen did not respond to our request to schedule an interview. A few weeks ago, former Sheriff Victor Hill announced on social media he was withdrawing his support for Allen. Allen claimed Hill was trying to manipulate the sheriff's office backstage. Turner says it's time for Clayton County to move on from the Victor Hill era. In Jonesboro, Doug Richards, 11 Alive News. Well, right now, early voting is underway. For more information about voting locations, we are here to help you out. We've made it very easy for you. All you have to do is text the word election to 404-885-7600, and we'll send you a voter guide with all that you need to know.